I'm gonna also have to go back because of a stupid checkpoint. And in here you get a couple of beans, not that important, but more importantly, a challenge star. Again, may, try to make sure you collect them all. They're honestly on the beaten path, so it isn't hard to find them at all. Cast and hey, a spell on this block to, to knock it out, knock of, the it out of the way. Got it, Professor Lando! Stutters. Stuttering Stanley. Lando! And you can actually jump on top of the block. That looks really weird. <laughs> Stupid Potter. Flipendo. 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 And you can actually just keep going on this way. Quickly put that jar. And do not jump down there. That is a bottomless cliff. You can tell because there's a bunch of purple shit. And already another save game book? I don't remember that being that early. Well, let's quickly grab the bean and the book at the same time. Why not? And it will load that. It will load you grabbing the bean at the same time. <clears throat> the game, when you go back, perverts everything. It's actually pretty interesting that way. So jump across. Let's also knock over that cauldron. Damn it. Come on, knock it over. Eh, well, it looks like I can't. You can also, you can't cast in midair like you can in Chamber of Secrets, too. So, like I said, I've been playing it right now. I'm going to make a lot of references to Chamber of Secrets. Don't hold it against me. Lupendo. Alright, so let's actually knock this down. Got it. And don't be an idiot like I always was and miss that there is a actually a Lupendo symbol. Uh, where is it? I know it's like right around, if you turn around, no? Huh. Wasn't there a Flipendo symbol there? Where was it? Or is it down here? I cannot look. Can I use the mouse button to look? No, I cannot. Um, where the hell is that Flipendo symbol? I know I'm forgetting. Hey, I can cast a pendo on that. But that was stupid. Actually, can I just get up there? I can, can I? Alright. So, yeah. That's that. I believe I actually remember getting stuck at this part when I first played this game for some odd reason. Not sure why. And was that actually the last challenge star? Okay, that was five. I guess there's more than five. I don't remember. Now you get the nice and creepy music. Ugh! Wow. <laughs> okay, Potter. Looks like you don't want to jump that far. I thought you could have ran and grabbed that, but apparently you did not feel like it. See, it spawned me in casting a spell. I love how the game does that. It spawned you in doing everything you were just doing. So, it, it's actually pretty funny. Alright, time to redo all that shit. Fun. Climb up. Over here. Hit the cauldron. I think that was the flipendo I'd actually missed when I first played. Jump down here, and why the hell is Gumball on the TV? Oh well, I don't care that much. I'm done paying attention to the TV when I try to do recordings, because that just leads to stupid commentary. Like me making fun of Soul Surfer. That was literally the entire commentary of one of my Pokemon Crystal episodes, so... <clears throat> if that's what it is, that's uh, not good. Creepy music starting again. All right, let's actually make the jump this time, Mr. Potter. Whoa, there we go. And the gate closes behind us. Pretty sinister game, by the way. If you could not already tell. God, he says it with so much power and emphasis. And you can actually make this jump over here. If you're fast enough, you can jump. Jump. And here we go. Yeah, there is actually more than... Uh, maybe there's ten. I don't remember how many challenge stars. I thought there was, like, only five. Apparently there's more. Huh. I don't remember that. All ten challenge stars. It does sound like it does make sense, but... I don't remember. What the hell was that? Let's hit that. 
And that did not work. What? Damn it, I shouldn't have tried to rush it. Well, looks like I have to go back and do that all over again. Again. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Yep, that is one of the annoying problems in this game. The checkpoints are sometimes pretty stupid. But then again, it's a really friggin' easy game. I'm just dying like an idiot. I honestly remember beating this game in like one day once. I just went through and I was just like, you know what? Frig it. I'm gonna beat this goddamn game. And that's what I did. And it was fun. I also like how every time you hit a switch, you don't have to see a cutscene. That's what Chamber of Secrets kind of has you doing. Pretty much the game kind of makes it so it's even easier than this one. <clears throat> in some retrospects. But a lot of that is attributed to the fact that the controls in that game are a lot better. And also the challenge and fun is a lot better in that game. You have a lot more spells than this game's five. You actually get to add the spells you learn from this game into that game and use them. At least certain ones. I don't think you actually get to keep the plan spell you learn in this game. But we'll get to that when we get to that. And let's just keep it focused. Flippendo. Flippiendo. Flippy off -o. That would be a good spell. Flippy off, yo. Sounds like a racist spell, but I don't know. Let's actually open that up real quick. And let's make a subtle jump. Uh, there we go. And once more. Let's try not rushing this time, too. Um, can I actually hit that? No, I cannot. I tested that last time. You have a bit more spell distance in Chamber of Secrets as well. I'm going to be making a shitload of references to that game, aren't I? So that's going to make that platform come towards me. And there you are. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. Alright, time to make this jump, too. Alley-oop. But there we go. I actually made the jump that time. Want to see something cool, by the way? Uh, for some reason, I always remember this room. Me and my brother do. We used to play this a lot. And actually, you can go in like this corner, and like you get to see the future room. Yeah, it's a really weird glitch. I don't know why we remember this glitch so much. It's just so funny. But uh, yeah. Speaking to me and my brother playing, that was actually one of the fondest memories I had uh, from my childhood of playing games, was playing this game specifically. You see, the way we played it was on this old computer, so it worked, but I would control the arrow keys, and he would control the mouse, or, like, yeah, the mouse, which included jumping and firing. And we got through the whole game like that. It was actually so much fun him playing like the uh, mouse while I played the walking controls because we got each other's nerves with it it was just so much fun I remember it fond memories of that game fond memories well this game I mean not that game because this is this game and the door opened when there's no one there <laughs> you crack me up alrighty then so let's continue down this way and the door shut without anyone being there. Grab the safe game book. And we get to meet our fun this is friends. No, Mr. No. Potter. They like to pester young wizards. Knock him on his backside to complete the challenge. They move Got it. quickly and can be quite a nuisance. Indeed they can. So basically the way I like to deal with these bastards is to get over here and just jump on this chair. Or jump on this table. I don't remember. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh, jump on the table. Uh -huh. And now look at this. He can't reach me. <laughs> Those suckers. Because they can knock your beans out. And they get really friggin' annoying. Whoa. Ow, bastard. Get out of here. Yeah, see, if they steal your beans, you can't get them back. So that's why I hate these bastards. Let's grab that challenge star really quickly. And, well, we lost only three beans. So that's not bad. And only a little bit of health. I'm sure there'll be a chocolate frog in our future. 
So that's pretty much the end of that. The pendo, and we're done. C congratulations, Mr. P Potter. You, you completed, completed the, challenge. the challenge. You collected all the challenge stars. <coughs> 20, 20 points for, for Gryffindor. Gryffindor. Now, now hurry on, on to broomstick practice. Back in the Gryffindor <laughs> common room, practice. Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. But there was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little Why? time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Madame Hooch? I bet she has a very... Uh, I'm not going to go there. Flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Fly Harry through the hoops. Find one secret wizard card. Which I actually know where that is. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Got it. Control your broom with the direction keys. Mm-hmm. The speed up and slow down keys adjust your flight speed. Mm-hmm. So basically, we get to play Ready some pleasure? Superman 64, guys! Woohoo! But, before we go do that, I'm gonna go be an asshole. Ow. A to speed up? What the fuck's that shit? Alright, where's the speed up button? Turn left, or A. Alright, well, let's actually just fly through here, and... Boom. Grab the secret wizard card. Now... <clears throat> Can I actually go and restart? I forget. But because I went and did this, this is actually screwing up my time. So what I actually like to do is pretty much just screw around until the challenge is complete. So I actually like to run to the people and have fun with it. Ow. <laughs> Oof. Are you ready for this? Hi. Da 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 da. Yeah, this is kind of boring. There's not much to really do. I'll control the broomstick in a little bit. But first I need to figure out how the hell to speed up. Speed up. Left mouse key or K? Whoa, is that how you speed up? Oh, damn. Yeah, that is definitely how you speed up. Holy shit, that is hard to control, is that anything? But it could help. So, one last ram. Ram! Yeah, I'm pretty much out of time here. Ow. She's not gonna pass this, don't worry. Watch this, see? And... To do better than that to complete the lesson. I'll reset the ring so you can try again. Yep. Ready, Potter? On my whistle. Oh, she actually didn't mention the wizard card. That's actually pretty interesting. So she does mention the wizard card if you win. So speed through the rings. This game's a lot more forgiving than Superman 64, and the controls are a shitload better. Honestly, a small game mechanic is already better than Superman 64. Smaller rings, okay. So it actually does have Superman 64-esque rings where it does do something different. Once she says well done, I believe that does mean you pretty much pass. I'm not sure how far you actually have to get. These ones get a little bit of height. I've actually never gotten through all 82 rings, although I don't remember actually using the speed up button that much, so maybe I could get through them all. I don't know. That'd be pretty awesome if I could. The more rings you go through, the more points you get for Gryffindor. Five points from Gryffindor. Oh, son of a bitch. I hate these rings. Give me that goddamn ring. Boy, shit, I have a lot of time on my hands. I haven't even, like, used half my time yet. Maybe I have beaten this before. Who knows? Indeed I do. You have a natural talent for something that was really hard in the 2001 era. Uh, control better, well, Potter. Keep an eye on the next two. Son of a bitch, Potter. Oh, wait, no, it opens. All right, cool. Shit, I'm running out of time. Max points for a perfect score. Yep, that's what she said. Oh, man. 
It's still friggin' hard to get a perfect score, though. Let's try it with moving wings. Son of a bitch! This is so much like Superman 64 now. Although it still isn't that hard. I find these rings are a lot better than those fucking fiery rings. I don't know why. I just find these ones easier. Maybe because they move, they're easier to see. Maybe that's my problem. I don't know. Son of a bitch, stop turning around for the goddamn rings. Come on, Ross. You can do this. Show the people that you're actually good at a game for once. Oh, man, I almost got this. Son of a bitch. There's no way I... Oh, man, can I get that ring? Damn it. Six, oh, six rings away. Display, Mr. Potter. Damn it. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. Close enough. I also congratulate you for being the first student there we in go. the secret room since 1867. That's From a round now on, number. You may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Yep. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Good Potter. Good luck, Mr. Potter. And time for charms. Yep, this game moves along rather fast. But I'm just going to go until I find a save book and end it off there. Wingardium Leviosa with Flitwick. Flit, Flit, Flitwick. Oh, hey, there's a save game book right there. Kick ass. So next time on Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, we attend Charms class with Professor Flitwick. And we listen to Harry go, what, as he falls. Isn't that fun? Hey, let's talk to the girls. Have you met Hagrid? That's He's a boy. So large. I can scarcely see the top of his head. Well, that's awkward. See you guys.